you, when you ask the average person what the WTO is, the World Trade Organization, or what's this all about, or why were there riots, most people don't know. This made the cover of Newsweek. This made every newspaper in the world. But whether you ask someone in their 30s or 40s or 20s, a lot of people don't know it. When you start to teach them or start to help them learn what it's all about, they go, well, I want to get involved. How do I get involved? So we got a lot of the real people involved in this. We have real protesters. They're coming in from Seattle and San Francisco and people that were there. Some of those people that are out there chanting, turtle power, <laughs> they were there. When, when I got this one, I was extremely excited because I was always looking for an ensemble movie, but an ensemble movie that had to have meaning. And I was also looking for a political sort of action piece, you know, something that was maybe going to help change the world, something that was meaningful. And of course, I'm always drawn to real life stories, real life events. Um, I think the audiences are too. If you take a look at Monster, Capote, uh, Ray, uh, the audiences are telling us they are too. We really are giving the politicos, to the pedestrians, to the protesters, to the policemen, all points of view in this movie so that the audience can decide who they most relate to, who they would have been if they were caught in these protests, they were working these protests, or they were rallying in these protests. I hope and I defy the audience not to come out with a point of view. And it would be hard not to relate to someone, even maybe our anarchist, Joshua Jackson. I don't know, but at least we're giving all points of view. And I think that they'll also enjoy the action of it and the drama, because after all, it's still a theatrical film.